the way to Bijani Chiwa for the putti. Okay, perfect, thank you. Well, it's a very different kind of morning for our long range hunters. Team Gunworks is going on the short range safaris. Down on the coastal forest here, and uh, we use terriers and beagles to move the blue dikers around. We then uh, set up in the forest and they come along the paths and we use a shotgun. And shots vary between kind of 10 to 30 yards as a maximum. And we're gonna give it a go and find you a blue diker because that's not what you, you haven't done that. And no. you haven't started on the tiny 10. No. Let's start. Very small animal, right? Very small, G. We're talking about the size of a Jack Russell. Uh, often they will stop and have a stare at you and sometimes they'll just move fast, like <laughs> as fast as they possibly can. Okay. I don't you. think we brought enough shells. I only have about <laughs> six of these red ones here. I, so. I, those are the only ones I could find this morning, so make sure we hit them. <laughs> Got it. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Great. We are essentially on a rabbit hunt this morning. South African rabbit hunt. So pretty thick in here. So what we have here, G? That is a blue dark moon. If you look around here, there's a fresh one. This is this morning. There's one, two, three, four. Five little minutes, so this is a big male's territory right here. So when we set up, we like to set up close to a midden like this that is prominent, you know he's a big guy. So when the, the, the dogs start moving them, they will actually <clears throat> they'll actually work back their territories and they run similar loops in the forest. So maybe if they come past the first time too fast. But no worry, he'll come but normally he'll come past again if you're lucky. But anyway. This is a good, good sign. This is a fantastic little setup right here. Thanks. With all these paths descending, I would think, um, from my experience, Blue Dark will come along like that there, then uh, above us here on the top. Yeah. But right in front of us, see this little hole? Uh -huh. I like that. Yeah. Blue Dark will often hit the thicket just before opening like this where the big tree is. He'll stop and just have a squiz, have a quick look. But when he stops and he looks at you, make sure to shoot low okay. as you don't shoot him in the face area. He never stopped. Yeah. From okay. here. 50% uh, of them actually do stop. I don't know what they are in that bad luck. <laughs> but I'm just dead. Okay. Yeah. But make sure when you shoot like that, you just shoot low. Actually, make sure that little dog, what that dog looks like, that dog's same color as the blue dog, don't shoot that dog. And the other beagles have got bounds. So just. We'll have lots of opportunities, don't pull cool if you're not sure. There's two other dogs out there. Two other dogs, yeah, the white beavers. Don't worry about shooting through brush. Give it a go. One minute will do it. I mean, literally, it's a jackrabbit cross with a rat with horns. <laughs> okay. I'm going to be behind you if I see like you. Sometimes you battle, pick it up. I'll, I'll see it. I mean, I'm just going to turn you like this. So the gun must be off safety because, man, when he hits that gap, he's like a Formula One car with like the blocks. Okay. Here they go. Let's go down. Let's do this. Well, we struck out on Blue Diker this morning. We lost one of the dogs, which uh, I don't know how often that happens, but I haven't hunted with dogs a lot anywhere. But we lost one of the dogs. One of the beagles got away. It doesn't take much for me to get excited about eland. It's one of my very favorite things to pursue in over the years. We've obviously taken a lot of good eland. What I've just seen 
we can be excited. Come on. excited about eland it's one of my very favorite things to pursue in over the years we've obviously taken a lot of good eland what i've just seen we can be excited come along on the front of his shoulder. It mustn't go too high, okay? You can go for it just behind the shoulder. Take your time, eh? Make a good shot. When you're ready, you can shoot him. Okay, he's watching us now, so we must go. They should must go now. Stone dead. Stone dead. <laughs> Your heart was beating so fast, I was leaned up against her and I could just feel her heart just beat. I don't know precisely where the point of impact was, but when he left, I looked on the screen, when he turned, all he did was his tail was out and he was going doing this. I'm telling you, she just hit the pump, the main pump. It is awesome. My heart was beating, like I made the shot. Pretty proud of myself right now. <laughs> I want you to come with me and come and see how awesome this is. Really, really freaking happy that I practiced shooting off spotting scopes at the range the week before. Come here, young lady. Come and have a look with me. What do we have? For everybody who's ever wanted an Eland, this is an Eland that ticks the box in every single way. He has this gun steel blue color we after. He has the dewlap um, and then he has the mop. This is what your dad and I go for 
It's what drives us so so much. It what drives me to get more and bigger areas each year. Gorgeous animal. There were about five times where I thought I was gonna pull the trigger. And then I stopped and I'm like, this is not the time. Take a couple more breaths. But uh, when I did pull the trigger, I felt really good about that shot. I was on aim. I was right where I was supposed to be. Felt pretty confident in that shot. Kudu day. The most sought after day of the safari. We've hunted this property before a couple years ago. Um, long shots, looks like the wind hasn't picked up yet, which is good, but a lot of glassing this morning. We're gonna have to set up for a little longer shot. So we've got the LRM, I think we're ready to do it. Beautiful morning. We've uh, beaten the early bird out here this morning. We woke up at about uh, just after four, left just before five, and uh, the sun is just coming up in the east here. And uh, we are about to get onto some kudu. It's a little bit quiet still, been a cold night, but I've got a good feeling for today. It's quiet, nice, calm, windy conditions yesterday. Today looks like a pearl of a day. Let's find ourselves a kudu. Really, really big young bull down here. Um, he's on a cow right now, but he's man one year short of what we want him. But he's a bull over 50 already, which is fantastic for an escape guru. He's a magnificent animal. Beautiful, beautiful bull. Look like you 
who's going to be a cranker. Looks like a good bull from here. Like I said, he didn't quite finish. Neck wasn't quite there. Just missing a little at the top. Probably a good thing I don't get to make the call on these things. I think that one would have been getting a harder look. It's early. Wind's dead right now. I'm keeping an eye on it. Let's hope it'll hold out for us. So we got a lot to glass, pretty thick. Uh, doesn't look like anything under five or six hundred yards, so hopefully that wind will hold out for us. That's the right side. Yeah. That's where that bull likes it. Yeah. Well, as often happens here down with Carl, chasing Kudu, and uh, we get sidetracked with Lechway. Animal I've never taken, just, uh, hunted and filmed a few down here. Remember Chad Froughton's first lechway he killed down here, I filmed. Pretty cool animal. Um, real elusive, uh, at times they look real do docile, but, but at times they can get out of here in a hurry. So we spotted one bedded. We're gonna sneak in and make sure it's one Carl wants to shoot, but uh, kuda hunt turned lechway hunt. Let's take opportunities, G, and let's go and have a look from my initial thought, what I saw. I like what I see. He's tall from the front and when he turned, he had a hook. So I'm a little bit, uh, a little bit anxious to see him up closer. The left to right down there. This wind, I think that's our main factor with the storm blowing in. I mean, we're finding it 10, 12, and then it's gusting 14, 15. So I nearly want to say to you, add on, on the high side, let's shoot for a 15, and if it settles, we shoot for a 10. But uh, not less than a 10. Uh, I don't think less than a 10. Agreed. We do that class up in Cody where we try and put you in some uncomfortable shooting situations. We got to shoot from a bench or you know, perfect prone all day. It would be nice, but we can't. So termite mounds, boulder, plateaus here. We're kind of using everything we can here. So 500 yard shot, feel very comfortable, very solid. Important part, get steady on the front, steady on the back. Back's not as comfortable as it'd like to be, but that's all right. We're gonna wait out this bull now until he gets up, and then we will, um, we will give him one. blowing in. It's getting colder, the clouds are getting darker, and rain is imminent. Just waiting for him to get up now. Um, I'm starting to move around a bit more. I'm sure he'll be up soon. Wind's down a little, G. We're six, five. We're five across right now. Ten for a ten is two point three. Five. In that next gap, you've got a range. You're going to stop there. Five eighty four. Okay, in the next gap, he's going to stop. I'm going to stop him, eh? He's going to stop there. Five seventy one. I'm going to stop him, mate. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. Five fifty nine. Okay. Take your dream. Got it. Shot. He's gonna be just about down, G. I've got him there. Just about, just down. He's down, G. Down. Down, my brother. Very nice. Go. Teamwork, yeah, boys. Teamwork today. Awesome. If the kudu's not gonna work out, 
We'll take a look. Take a letter and a bull like that. I'm telling you every day of the week. Clear the gun. Well, looks like about just under 600 yards. Uh, final dial. We had a wind that was kind of from our nine o'clock to our 11 o'clock. So I uh, held about two and a half Got minutes, just a heavy two and a half, just under three minutes there. So uh, that's just for just over about a 10 mile an hour wind. Just an awesome bull. Yeah, where he's come to sit. Just beautiful, eh? Oh, yeah, he's a nice bull. Out. Heavy. Whew. Look at that nice hook on him, Angie. You, he's a moy bull. The shape you're looking Hard all the way down. All the way? Put it there. Way to go. Way to go. Gee, give us a massive thumbs up for an awesome bull, my man. Yeah. My brother keeps asking me if I get sick of coming on this trip. A handful of safaris with Carl, and it, uh, it keeps getting better every time. You never know what you're gonna chase and uh, how it's gonna unfold, but can't get enough of this, Carl.